Hi everyone, so this will be a uh, tutorial to make you see how to build a complete React native app using Expo and having an APK. As you saw here, I tried an example to make, it, to make this work and you can see that you, you have the APK here. But now I created a custom example so you can see how to actually build something like this. So first consider that you do not need to open but to import something since Gradle may have problems when you do React Native then we will do things step by step so you can see how this actually works so you do trial okay we create import okay we create this window okay here many things will be explained when we saw we see we will see them okay so we close this we close this okay can can I close this yes I think yes Okay, probably it's because I didn't open at all the file. Okay, okay, this is it. Sorry. Now we go on to terminal. For building um, the APK on Windows, you need the subsystem for Linux. Okay, this is actually an important thing, but we will see step by step what actually happens. So, here uh, in this case, what we need to do now is to create an NPX create expo app okay we do something like my app okay this creates you basically an apk sorry we create an app which is made in typescript you can see and set an example for example you can use some examples from the uh, site of expo there are different examples uh, up to 10 that you can use otherwise you can use a javascript or typescript file here so this is important because you can see what you need to do for for doing this stuff okay so this creates you a lot of stuff now you can see that basically what you need to do uh, for building an apk is uh, doing something on ios doing something on web doing something on android so on android what you need is having uh, something like a virtual device okay you do the command run on android and you can see that it will work okay now we wait for stuff to happen here already you see the my app okay always add so we can index everything here okay now we wait it for, for it to end basically what happens is you get an app already with a tab navigation folder okay you need i will close stuff so you, we can we can come back to what we need time by time as to go this is the app that you need to do this is done to create basically a local development server which you want to build the app Otherwise, uh, you can build it online using the commands that we will see after this ends. So basically, this gives you, you can see, a React, and this works uh, completely by itself. Okay, we will see many commands here. I will comment, comment step by step what we need to do. Basically, this is the complete Expo workflow that we will see. Okay, so you can see after this ends that one can create the project using only React Native, so one creates, for example, npx React Native init project name. This is the alternative way to do so. And here, what one needs to do is to simply do npm start. Okay, so it starts a local server, otherwise, it does npm run Android. So it creates a local folder called Android on which you will see the APK. Otherwise, you see iOS. And this works only on iOS, on Xcode as. If you are here, I suggest, and I suppose that you already know something like this. Okay, so here we have everything ready. So if we do, the, the first thing that we do is, um, uh, sorry, npx expo start. So basically this gives you, oh, sorry, we do something like this. Okay, now we do npx expo start because we want to move it, of course, inside of the folder. Okay, so there is something already in use of another process probably there is still okay so you get this kind of stuff okay we open android so we need to open the device you can see now how the app will present itself okay so here we have the for example a virtual device so you can see that for example if you want to open android you have to have a virtual device opened which is something that happens here we will see how the app uh, works even if i don't have uh, the device my local device happens so you can see that this is the expo go app okay 
it bundles the APK, so the bundle is basically a zip that Android does to make the app work. Okay, so we wait for it to open. Okay, and um, once you saw here, once you have this, basically is having something like the complete app. Now you will see how it works, how fast it will, fa it will be fast. I have no idea. I'm trying to show you what happens. So this is uh, basically the online part. Okay, so this is uh, complete with uh, tabs and navigation. Okay, so you have the explorer, you have the welcome. This is what happens. Okay, so okay, we stop the server, we click this, and we go to device manager and we stop the device. Okay, so this is done for the um, virtual um, run of the application. Otherwise, uh, you do something like React Native and Expo, okay? So, in this case, what you want to do is uh, you can build the application on the Expo site. So what you need to do is running Expo pre-build, okay? This creates you basically here an Android folder, okay? An Android folder on which you want to move and then run something like Gradle, something, something like this, Gradle Worker, Gradle Wrapper, sorry, assemble release or assemble debug this gives you many many problems that's why i'm not doing it of many kind like compilation like problems of whatever kind okay um, one important thing that you need to do going into the environment variables is that uh, it may give you problems for versions of gradle superior uh, to 8.10 a version that i saw working was 8.5 or even the android home this needs to be set, or even the JDK, which needs to be the 17th version. Otherwise, it does not work. Okay, or uh, you can have problems. I had many, many, many problems up to now. So, I think that you need to do here is something like uh, the basic thing to make it work. So, you have two ways on which you want to build React Native applications. Okay, you can see how. So, we will look for that. Okay, and we will comment ways. This only tells you you need to create um, the keys on which you want to build the application file. So this is not useful at all. This may be useful for setting the Gradle properties, okay? But in my case, it did not work at all, once again. So if you go here, for example, it tells you the React Native command. You do the Android and you do assemble the bug. That's what I told you, basically. But this does not work. Or you can do something like I will let I will find the command on the second screen and I will uh, actually execute it so you can see. Basically, you need to do something like yes. Okay, this is a file which needs to be created. Okay, and uh, to make this work, you will do something like yes init. This creates us a yes file. We link the project. Okay, so we go ES build configure. Okay, this basically tells us what kind of apps or do you want to build Android? Okay, and now we build basically we have to do something like build platform Android minus minus local. If you don't, do not run it, you might encounter problems of Gradle, problems of whatever kind. Also, if you not do, do, do this, this automatically gives you and goes up to the Expo dashboard. Here you have 30 builds up a month, so they are very, very few. Okay, of course, they might need them for cost, but this is not told you anywhere. Uh, if you fiddle around enough, you may come across an error which tells you Windows is not supported, so this fails and will continue to fail at least from this workflow. So what I did was running the local, okay? The local file actually gives you an AAB file, which is not an APK. An APK needs to be created with something like Kitool. You download the Java file, the bundle tool, and then you create the output, which is something really tedious, okay? Otherwise, you need an ASJSON and you build it local with preview. So we will do that. Okay, I just did it in the, the file that you saw before. 
indirizzo profile ok preview lock ok and this does automatically everything so this is the command that you want to be to do in order to have the application working ok sorry ah, uh, now this is the error that you see so it tells you that if you want to do it locally Windows is not supported which is some fucking bullshit so in order to make this work one can do WSL install this installs the Windows subsystem for Linux so you can see that I also have Ubuntu this is installed by itself I will let you see what happens ok so what you need to do I wrote a complete guide is installing then you can see here I will let you pause on the video so you need the JDK version you need the Gradle basically a good version might be 8.5 the environment variables Java Home, Android Home, SDK, Path you reload the entire thing then we do what basically we did so we have a git folder because Expo accepts at least for remote pushes only git folders otherwise you are not making it do not waste days like I did this is an example of the AS JSON in which you want to build an APK and then you launch the entire command otherwise you can choose to build Expo this is the managed workflow that we saw up to now otherwise you have npx react native init this only works with npm basically so you have npx expo start this is done for expo projects otherwise you have the alternatives we commented already on this otherwise you do npm run android once again this is both for both devices and you have a virtual device otherwise you have the expo go up okay and i wrote everything in order to make this work this is the remote remote build otherwise you have the local okay so i have ma many 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 errors this is the only one that works so you need to install this select it from here okay so we go here all of the commands here need to be run you can run it on cmd or powershell this is by default the powershell okay so if you go here okay and we do something like this this should work immediately Build common fail let's see why probably because i did yes in it outside of i'm ah, sorry because it's uh, i did not run it inside the right folder okay now it should start to work at least uh, this uh, i think it's uh, something like half an hour okay so be careful on that because uh, it takes time to cre be created but uh, if it does not stop then it's a good sign and um, you can see it checks for environment variables okay 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 this is the only step that works up to now for what i checked because i tried with the react native build but this does not work at all okay uh, so build it locally in this case it will work so you do something like create expo app this is the equivalent for the CLI. okay you do npx expo start you run from we saw the android version okay this is the equivalent for react native okay we can run this works for both okay so you see the devices and you run on a specific virtual device this is the current version for physical device at least for react native the pre-build gives you the android folder so the android or ios folder which here you want the apk file okay so one goes here does cd android then runs dot gradle wrapper gradle wrapper i saw i make you see in the beginning of the video how to import the gradle wrapper how to uh, have something like this i did not test yet on ios so this is what you want to do if you are creating something like this okay so be careful on that okay otherwise you simply do with ias in the local build because this does not give you any problem so we go here okay you can see that it's asking me for my data and now it's compressing the project you will see that what happens it creates you on the local fol folder um, the apk this does not this even st skips uh, the step of creating the android folder here i saw so um, in this case uh, since it's a preview you can custom uh, customize uh, different profiles there is a development there is the android uh, sorry there is the preview and there is uh, the release so the release uh, is actually a release so you expect it to be something like uh, now it's uh, installing the dependencies you expect it something like having an apk file but 
so let it work to not interrupt it this is the only project working okay so you see a lot of stuff a lot of stuff okay build epic uh, local build local apk build local apk on uh, expo okay so you see something like uh, i think i will find it windows this is the reference that i used for building the apk file it's everything it's written here okay so you see that the, the step that i uh, looked for and before it gave us the error exit here okay so now sorry for this okay i think that we closed everything <laughs> i was not careful on that i i saw i logically thought that it was uh, um trying to only closing what we needed before but in any case this is not important here we can see that basically what gives you is the apk file otherwise it creates you the android folder here okay so if you do something like npx export pre-build we will do it on the other project you will see how but now we saw how to build so the complete command will give you basically what happens here it's this one so we go on to the profile preview and this will be done, will be done local in order to make have only on the Windows Assistant for Linux everything. Okay, so thank you for your attention, and I hope it was somewhat useful this video.